and welcome along and welcome back to a very wet six ashes although this should clean up at some point uh it's not going to affect us much today uh because we are getting on with expanding our farm uh our horses actually uh we dealt with them last time uh they are all looking good they're all looking fresh and healthy uh we might add a sixth horse actually based on what we had overnight we only made about an extra 500 now that we've got the horse helper turned on for adding an extra three horses so it's it's fairly expensive for us to uh, to keep them now because we've obviously got the extra feed involved um and we're not getting so much back from the horses themselves so i'm gonna uh, try it a little bit more see see how we go but it may be that we reduce it back to three turn the horse helper off and uh, and keep riding those three i think we'd actually end up making more money uh, that way so that is an option uh first thing we want to do today though is we have 163,000, and we need to start purchasing some fields so first thing i'm going to do because we're not going to need it for a good long while um, and we can always stack bales and things up there if we want to is sell off uh our two areas that we don't need so the first is to sell off our far, uh, to sell off the woodland that we had. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Uh, we might uh, see if we can buy it again for next winter, but no point in having that at the moment. That's going to give us seventeen thousand, absolutely perfect. Uh, and then the other area we want to sell off is the biogas plant, uh, which is fifty three thousand. So we're looking at adding seventy thousand here which is absolutely brilliant you know that that brings us up to a very nice total and we want to look at the areas we're gonna buy so i want to buy this lot up here we've got a, a roadway up here we've got a barn at the top of this field here i think basing our main arable stuff out of here is going to be a good way to go what we can do then is we can leave the ford forces down here to do with the horses and handle the horse stuff and do all of our farming with the uh, 6810 up the top here uh, and possibly get another tractor so that we've got two tractors on the farming uh, as a result we want to buy this field here which is a grass field at the moment but we can convert to arable that's 23,000 uh, this one here field 10 that's 46,000 and then field 11 over here which is 109 and i think looking at that that is going to leave us money left over to buy equipment so absolutely perfect so let's buy field 11 field 10 yes and that one here as well uh which i'm going to call field 10 and a half we have left how much money so we've got 54,000 left um, and I would guess we're going to have to start today by doing some ploughing. Let's look at the state of our fields. Uh, here, uh, we're going to need lime on field 11. And we don't need to plough any of our fields. That's absolutely perfect. Although, I have no idea. I don't know what that is at the moment. Whether that has been done or not. So what we're going to do, I think is i doubt any of our fields no so all of our fields are harvested so they need to have uh, to be cultivated and i have the perfect cultivator lined up for this job so what we're going to go and do is head up to our uh, up to the shop we're going to go and buy ourselves a cultivator get our fields cultivated ready for planting and i think we're going to plant field 10 today because that is the field we'll actually be able to do something about so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's head up to the shop and grab ourselves a cultivator. Get field ten cultivated, and, uh, and we can check on what's happening with that grass field as well, um, and uh, and go from there. Arrived at the shop, and we should be able to pick up the perfect piece of equipment here for what we want to do. It's actually it's actually oh, I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, we are two weeks away from the Alpine DLC coming out. And there is equipment. I, I don't know if, everybody, if you saw yesterday's fact sheets. The equipment in that, the cultivators that are in that, perfect price, perfect power for us on this series. 
Uh, I think eventually we might get some of the Apotager equipment from that. But yeah, yeah I love that DLC because it is going to be excellent for anybody wanting to do a start from scratch. The equipment is so nicely priced. Um, if you do want to get it, go check out the description. There is a link to, uh, to purchase it directly from Giants. Uh, but uh, it doesn't come out for a couple of weeks. Let's go and get what we are going to have to use today, though, uh, which is the Cultivator uh, over here. So we've got a couple of choices. We've got the Crumbler for 11,000 that is 10 meters wide. That would do us really nicely. Uh, the other choice, well, we've got this, uh, we've got the Isha here. That's a three meter Cultivator. That is uh, that is quite a good one. Um, we also have over here somewhere, yeah, this this ransoms, which is two point seven meters, so just under three meters. Uh, actually, this is this is a classic, an old one. This absolutely would do the job that we are expecting of it. Forty five horsepower, two point seven meter. Yeah, I'm going to take the ransom. We got a ransom trailer. We got a ransom uh, cultivator. If we want to go wider, we'll be able to. It has only cost us two thousand instead of uh, the eleven thousand, uh, and we're still going to have to pop back to the farm and pick up fuel. But uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I like this better. I think this this is a lot smaller. This is this is over three times smaller than the crumbler but we can at least get this to the field and it is more realistic and it leaves us more money for us to get a tractor if we want to get a new tractor so uh, yeah question is very much going to be what new tractor do i get i'm gonna have to have a look about and see what's available Refueled and ready to go. This is the entrance way into our new set of fields. And looking at this and looking at the width, we would have never got that crumbler through here. Oh, wow. The gate opened outwards. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to go inwards. Makes sense, though, seeing as this slopes up here. Uh, but you can see the top end this way of stuff we own on field 17. So we own a uh, this grass field in here, which I'm currently trying to work out what to do, uh, uh, what to do with it. We're going to be doing a lot of seeding and planting and things in the next few days. Now, what I do want to check before we go any further is this is the grass field I was talking about. It does does look like it might be doable. Let's have a look at this. Can we, if we go up to the top end of this field, because it'd be pretty good to do this field today as well if we can. Can we go up to the top end of this? And will it uh, cultivate? So, I'm going to avoid the bush there. Come up to the top here. Doesn't look like a cultivatable field. But we'll see soon enough. No, so this will need ploughing. So we are going to have to get a plough to do this bit. Uh, that's fine. I was fully expecting that. Um, it is, uh, yeah. It is just grass field. I think we're going to have the same thing with that there. This is our, uh, this is our barn. And our current yard area. I think this is going to be, this is going to be quite useful. We may... It's interesting because we've actually got more space for expansion up at our uh, at our stables with the uh, with the grass field out the back than we do with uh, with that yard there. It's uh, it's a sort of a shed that, that is on a, it's got an immediate slope below. Uh, so here we go. Here are our two fields. We've got field ten up here and field seventeen. Field 10 is actually bigger than it looks on the map. That is probably double the size I was expecting it to be. And this is not a very big cultivator. To cultivate this... Wow. Yeah, it does. It goes right round the cell point there. And to cultivate this along the edge of the... Oh, wow. Yeah, we want start over this way 
but I think we actually, there's, there's no easy way for me to cultivate this, I think. I think I essentially want to be doing it along the bottom edge. It's finding the edge that is best for us to get this job done. And, uh, and that would seem to be the way this rolls along this edge here. So that's how I'm going to work it. Because uh, we've now got the maze plus on here, you can see we've got proper structure on the stubble. And we'll be able to get out of it fairly easily, so that's fine. Yeah. And actually, looking at this, where we want to start this off is down this way over here. So let's line this up, put this down, and away we go, working our first field. What is this? Uh, we are the Philippines, but we should run and we can uh, clear this off. So I'm going to get to work on this and, uh, and we'll see how long we take. it takes us. It may be that this takes us the rest of the day. Not the end of the world though, because uh, we do still have plenty of time to seed our crops. So we're about halfway through the field now and uh, this little ransom cultivator is an impressive little thing. I'm loving this. It's working so well with the 6810. I mean this, this cultivator only requires about 30 horsepower so there's there's plenty of horsepower on this, uh, this, um, what, 90 horsepower on the 6810, I think. So, uh, plenty for us to do this here with this. Uh, and it's a really good combination. It works massively well. Uh, but we could even put this ransom on the back of our 5000 series and have that doing. And I think that's something we might do next time, seeing as we want to start getting fields planted as well and, uh, and we're going to need both tractors going at it to do it um, and, 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 and talking of that I started looking at possible options um, for a third tractor on the farm something that we can uh, we can have up here working these fields as well and I'm, really it's come down to I think I've come down to two choices uh, that I've got on here um, we've got the 7810 that we'd been using on uh, Bessie Beneath, uh, which would be quite good, uh, along the same sort of lines as this. And uh, that is 110 horsepower, uh, and is 13,000. So that is, is well within our price range. The other one is the TW25 that we've been looking at, or that we've been using on Bessie Beneath. Uh, that would work on here as a, a nice big tractor for doing some of the large jobs. Uh, would, would be great for plowing, would allow us to get a decent sized plow on here. Um, that is a hundred and, uh, so that's 156 um, horsepower, it is 27,000, so just, uh, just about half of, uh, of our remaining budget, which is quite cool. Um, either of those tracks would do us on here. Uh, um, it does mean that we're very, very much looking at having a Ford farm on here. Uh, which in itself I quite like as well. Um, I think that's uh, yeah, having having a Ford farm would be good. Um, Matt XJS's updates to the uh, to the Fords uh, really can't come quick enough. They are they would fit in wonderfully well here. The only thing that I think would uh, would change my mind on that would be if some David Browns appeared. Um, but I don't know what's happening with those at the moment. So uh, yeah. That is, that is our choice at the moment. We're not rushed into making it, so uh, we, can, we can leave it for a bit. But, yeah, I certainly think that either of those two tractors would be uh, great additions to this farm uh, and would fit in really, really well. Um, as it is, though, and as I was saying, this 6810 is doing an absolutely bang-up job with this cultivator at the moment. Uh, and, uh, and as a result... Yeah, we're going to get this field uh, cultivated today. And if we're lucky, we might even get a cedar back this way as well. Uh, ready for... I don't think we're going to be able to seed this game day. I might be surprised, but I don't think we're going to be able to seed this game day. Uh, I think that might be something for next time. At this point, we're going to uh, 
divide the remaining field into two bits. So we're going to lift here so that we can get the headroom done at that point. And drop there. Oops, drop there. So that uh, we can get this little bit done. And what we'll do is, uh, is we'll get this end of the field done. Uh, and then the little bit at that end of the field done. So that we uh, end up pretty much in the top corner over that way. And in doing that, we give ourselves a good, uh, we give ourselves the least amount of distance to travel to get the headwind stuff. It is a bit of a notch out. It is, it is purely because we've got that uh, cell point jutting out uh, into the field here uh, that we've got this. From the looks of the map, I don't know actually. I, I don't know whether the, yeah, from the looks of the map, this field normally would be much smaller with more buildings here. But we are, uh, yeah, we're in an interesting place where I don't think this actually normally would be part of the field. Uh, so uh, that's that's the reason for the odd shape on it a little bit. But it is a brilliant field. I mean, this is, this is a great start to us. Field 11 we've got over there. I think that we're going to have to divide into two fields. I think it's too big for us to work as a single field. So I'm going to divide that into two. Uh, and we're going to have sort of 11A and 11B from that. Uh, in the same way as we've got sort of 10A and 10B here. Uh, with the extra one we've got. There we are. And um, yeah. And if we do course play, we're going to have to define those fields a lot bigger as a result. And I'll probably put some grass and, and we'll put some roads in and do some uh, extra bits for field 11. But for now, I've just got to get this finished. And then we can go and do that other last little bit. What's the time? It is nearly 3 in the afternoon. So yeah, we are not going to get uh, this field planted today. But as I said, that's not the end of the world. It does mean we're going to end up with a fairly late harvest. How are we looking weather-wise? Uh, so, spring 2, spring 3, spring 4, spring 5, spring 6, summer. Yeah. Hopefully, we're not going to end up with a really wet autumn. Because if we do, we are going to be in trouble. We're going to have a lot of issues trying to do our own crops. Which is the risk of doing our own crops, to be honest. Uh, right, and away we go. So almost done on the main body of the field. We got a little bit of clean up to do in this gap because I started from that corner there and worked my way across so that we could hopefully finish down in that corner there. But I do realize now that we kind of want to do two rows each time. As a result, um, we're probably going to have to backtrack a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, it's not a huge problem. Uh, I, I think I've got the width of this, or I've worked with this being a width a little bit wider than it is. And uh, yeah, it means that we've got two headlands a go. I'm pleased with this. This is working. This has worked very, very well. This little uh, cultivator. It has done a magnificent job of doing this field. Can't get that tough there. To got missed. Well, while we're in the middle of the field here, and then what we want to do is do this headland here. And this headland here, this does need two goes. Uh, down here, that is, uh, yeah, we've got more width here than is, uh, than our cultivator can handle. Down this end. And yeah, I'm trying to work it so that the last 52,000 we have, uh, we can buy trailers and combines and, uh, and, um, cedar and all that kind of stuff. We need a uh, we've got a, well, we do have a solid fertilizer spreader. I'm trying to remember if we have a sprayer. I'm not sure if we do or we don't at the moment. Um, 
I can check that in a minute. But basically, um, I need to make sure that all the bits we need for our farm to work our own fields, we have. Uh, and if we don't have, that we have enough money to buy them. That's why I'm, I'm looking at the 7810 and going, that is probably the better choice for us for now than the T-Dub would be. Um, and that is simply because while the T-Dub introduces a lot more horsepower, it also costs us a lot more money. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things where it's that, that payoff between the two. Now, is this wide enough to get all of this? The answer to that is no. So what we'll have to do is we'll backtrack a little bit to head up to this corner. Turn around. And we'll do two headings here as well. Down. Way to get this extra bit here, and then we can come around and get the other bit and to cover everything as we want to, which will work very, very nicely. But yeah, to get this whole field done, that is awesome, that is absolutely brilliant. That will give us a good way to go next time. Uh, I think we're going to end up getting the cedar on this tractor and doing this next time, and maybe leaving. The, uh, the little Ford to do the other one. Although, I need to go through and do a crop rotation. So I'm going to go and have a look at crop rotation. Hopefully we can bring a nice plan to that here next time. I think maybe putting something like canola in here would be a good idea. We want to try and get, get it so that we can do everything with a single combine header as well. Um, the only one that would be an exception is we need carrots. I think we might do carrots in field 10. Uh, just a small batch of them because they take a while to do. And, uh, and we don't want to uh, restrict ourselves too much like that. Uh, so yeah, much, much better idea, I think, to do uh, carrots in... Uh, sorry, field 10A, uh, as we call it for now. Whereas on this one, I think if we did canola, that'd be good. Uh, maybe some oats in some of the other fields because we need oats to feed the uh, horses. And yeah, and then maybe another cash crop of some description in one of the other ones. Look at how uh, this has just worked very nicely. It really, really has. Right. And we've got the same thing along here. So let's head up this top corner, pull back along here, and uh, and we'll finish off these headlands. Main part of the headlands all done. We just need to do the fiddly bit around the entrance. Uh, so that is this bit along here, and then we'll back up along that final bit there and get that done as well. So bring this round, turn it and get myself in position up here. Again, try to avoid on where I've already done so that I don't compact anything I've done. And away we go. Looking great. Looking absolutely fantastic. So that is that job all done. Uh, so yeah, that is our job for the day. It is half past five in the evening here in game. So we're going to be doing some seeding next time once we've looked after our horses. For now though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.